Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're going to be looking at a factory new Mauser broom handle flat side. And this is kind of an interesting gun. Um, they didn't make a whole bunch of these. This was a variant that Mauser made from about serial number 20,000 to about serial number 30,000. And it is in initially interesting because they just decided to get rid of all the panel milling that they had been doing uh, up until this point. And they just did basically a slab side with absolutely nothing. Now this is a holdover from the uh, contract that was made for the Italian Navy. Uh, Mauser got a 5,000 gun contract, their first big military contract. Uh, to make 5,000 guns for the Italian Navy. And those are Italian Navy flat sides, and they're gonna be the same no milling on the sides. Um, and those were made between what would have been serial number 15 and 20,000. Uh, they were in their own serial number range of 5,000 guns. And actually, serial numbers 15 to 20,000 were never made by Mauser. They just filled uh, the 5,000 guns they made for the Italian Navy in that serial number range, but actually did it in their own serial number range. Whatever, Mauser thought it made sense, so they did it. And then once uh, you had that contract over, Mauser kept making the uh, slab-sided guns like this one. And we'll take a look at some of the interesting things about this. You've got your standard, uh, very similar to the original cone hammer grips with the wide serrations here. Uh, obviously, you've got a pretty perfect wood to metal finish on these grips. These are very nicely made, very nicely lacquered, uh, very smooth, really, really good quality. Um, you have your fire blued small parts and your strawed triggers. Mauser had gone away from the cone hammer triggers, which were left in the white. Now these are going to be strawed. And again, just really high polish, very nicely done rust blue, no machine marks whatsoever on these. Um, you've got your large ring hammer. Mauser had moved away from the cone hammers by this point. So you've got your large ring hammer. Um, you've got your standard barrel here with your standard front sight. And we'll take a look at the top of this one here. You've got your 1,000 meter rear sight, which is pretty standard on most all broom handles. Uh, your long extractor with fire blued small parts, uh, which they were still using. Uh, they stopped using these long extractors right around serial number 35,000. So even some of the early small ring hammers had the long extractors. And then you've got your standard uh, chamber mark there. And we'll flip this gun over. And again, uh, you notice the complete lack of any milling on these and just the really high quality polished job that these got before they were blued. Um, just really, really, really nice. And the Crown U commercial proof, as well as your serial number here. And this one's in the 28,000 serial number range. So it's pretty much at the end of the flat side uh, era. They did make a few different versions of flat sides. This is one of the later ones. So it's uh, sort of using up what Mauser was making at the time. Some of the earlier ones were actually a mix of cone hammer parts and some newer parts and just kind of uh, almost like a cleanup that Mauser was doing. Mauser seems to be, have been a factory that never wasted any parts if they had Anything that would make a gun and go together, they would put it out as a variant. And so you'll see some pretty interesting Mauser variants uh, from time to time using up parts. Um, again, you've got your really nice grips here. And this one is cut for a shoulder stock and doesn't really look like a shoulder stock has ever been put on this one. I know it does have the shoulder stock with it. Apparently nobody ever put it on there. Uh, your serial number being repeated numerous times, or at least the last three digits of it. And again, your bolt is actually going to be blank on a lot of these, but your serial number is going to be, cock this guy, 
in typical Mauser fashion, they're going to put the serial number right above the firing pin on the bolt face. Now, they did this on some guns. Not all will have it. Most will. Uh, their serial numbering was sometimes a little bit sketchy on what they decided to do. This one also has the antler proof right there, which is the Ulm proof mark. And then also it's got a number of proofs and various symbols on the underside of the barrel. A lot of these early guns did. These just seem to be Mauser uh, internal marks and internal acceptance marks uh, for Mauser themselves. They don't really mean anything, so don't get overly carried away trying to decipher this because there really is no meaning to most of these. Uh, as you can see, you're also, you've got your magazine floor plate there, which doesn't look like it's ever been taken off, and just really, really nice bluing and your standard uh, lanyard ring, which Mauser love to put on their guns. So, hope you've enjoyed taking a look at a pretty nice, uh, all original, uh, as it left the factory, slab side Mauser. Uh, obviously, if you've got one of these, I'd love to know about it, so drop it in the comments. And uh, as always, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.